not first of all, but y'all know I got a haircut, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you the back again. There we go. I know I showed you last week, but I'm showing you again. Because, you know, sometimes it's a big deal. And, okay, so y'all, this book, I just want to tell you, I'm in a Bible study right now. This is a really great study on the Holy Spirit. It's um, Chuck Smith is the founder of the Calvary Chapel. He's already with Jesus now, but I'll tell you, his teaching is pretty awesome. And this is called Living Water, the Power of the Holy Spirit in Your Life. Um, I mean, I was raised in the Baptist church and um, didn't, I mean, we just didn't, we just didn't really get into the study of the Holy Spirit. But y'all, not to say that was a Baptist church thing, but I just want to tell y'all, this will do it right here. And we got it on Amazon. And anyway, so, okay, tonight I got some show and tell. First things first, I got a little happy mail. And this is from my friend Lisa, who's on here tonight. Lisa Oliver. Look how pretty this card is. I love it. She's put a strip of designer series paper here, here, and here. So that's three pieces. And she's cut the scalloped circle out. And she's put a little wink of Stella on the strawberry. You see, can you see it sparkling? There we go. There we go. Sparkling, sparkling. Oh, hey, Courtney. I'm so glad you're here. And she put some bling on here. And then she put a little strip right here. And I kind of kept it a little private, you know, just a little private. It wasn't a big secret note. It's just, you know. Um, yes, it is such a cute card. She's used this, um, y'all, y'all know I can't call out the colors, but it's so pretty. And, um, I want to say garden green. It is such a pretty card. I love, love, love it. So if you've got these materials, do a quick screenshot. Um, I'll hold it right here so you can do, there we go. You can do a screenshot and make this card. Okay. So we had that as happy mail. Um, I have another bit of happy mail that I want to show y'all. This is a demonstrator who has kind of taken me under her wing. Um, Courtney, yes, the berries are so cute. Garden green. That okay. I was did I say I was I'm hoping I said I think I was thinking garden green. I have no idea, y'all. Oh, let, let me tell y'all this. This morning. Oh, thank you, Nyoka. And hey, hey. Yeah, girl, I'm missing some hair. Oh, girl. But y'all, my neck gets cold. Even though I got a whole lot of neck, believe me, I know it, okay? I see it every day. But I got a whole lot of neck going on, but it gets cold, y'all. I don't know. Sometimes I have to wear like a little thing in the house. It's kind of like I dress like a grandma. You see, I've got my sweater on. I mean, y'all. Okay, so this um, this friend of mine who is a gold demonstrator that's like better than silver elite, um, I think gold and then platinum. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'll never be there. I don't know. I'll. I won't say I'll never will. But anyway, so she sent kits. These are all card kits, and I'll show you after her session. But this is what she sent to us to make some cards, right? And I want to offer this to you guys. I will do the same thing. Um, I'm going to to put, a, put some kits together and find out who wants to participate. And we'll do the, um, I'll, I'll send a video or some way. We'll do the, um, we'll do the cards, okay? I'm not sure how that'll work out for me yet. Um, Okay, so she also sent some bling to go with it. Okay, so more show and tell. Oh, here it is. All right, so y'all know, and, and we do have a card we're making tonight, new techniques. Um, I was telling y'all about, no, about a class that I did, and my order didn't get here. Well, you know, I, I ordered through the person hosting the class. Anyway, it just came... So all of this stuff came, and y'all, I did not have either of the two stamp sets that they had in the class, right? This was a full Saturday. It was like noon to six, and it was a Zoom meeting, and we all participated, and we all 
made. Okay. So that Saturday, we were all making cards together, but I didn't have my packet. It took, it was actually two weeks late. So I just watched it on Sunday and did all the things. So I didn't have the stamp sets. I used what I had. These stamp sets are discontinued, retired, whatever you want to call it. So don't get attached. Don't do it, y'all. Don't get attached. But how stinking cute. Happy birthday. Now where's the ice cream? Okay. This is a cute little set we had a while back. And I wish I'd kept it out so you could tell, tell you what it's called. Um, but it's a little, it, it could be a, a taco truck or a hot dog truck or an ice cream truck. And here's the ice cream on the inside. Isn't that cute? And then the envelope, I just put the truck, and I I don't know if you can see, there's a little shadow of gray in the windshield. Um, I colored these with Copic markers, and I put, I actually folded up a paper towel and stuck it in here so that the ink wouldn't bleed through onto the back, because it does that, you know, when it's alcohol ink, you know. Okay, so that's one from the class, and of course she didn't use that stamp set, y'all. She used the new ice cream stamp set. And this is just a pretty card. And I put a little sprig there. And basically just, um, she used some flowers to go across. And I don't know, it's, pre it's pretty basic, but I really like it. Can you see the, the embossing? There you go, the embossing folder right there. That's from the, um, uh, Angela knows, the art uh, something art. Anyway, y'all know I can't ever call anything out. Okay, this is cute. Now, of course, very old stamp set here, but look at this. Isn't this just cute? And you write it, you write on it back here and you can, you can put it in here like this, or you can put it in here like this. And this is just one of our three by three envelopes. And all you do is you, you just, well, all we have is a piece of cardstock and um, designer series paper. This was free from celebration. And that's how, that's how long it took for me to get mine. Cause when we did the class, the celebration was still going on. Um, and we just cut the top off and made this little guy super simple and boom. Okay. So cute. And then I put little flowers on the outside of the card. Fine art floral. Thank you, Angela. I knew you'd know. Okay, now this, again, they used the popsicle set, but I didn't have it. So I used the designer series paper and I cut out one of the popsicles. And they put their ribbon around the stick because it's a bigger, it's a bigger thing. But anyway, this is what I had. And then she sent us the little bling to go on there. And again, the fine art floral um, uh, folder, the embossing folder here makes it look like kind of icy cold because she did it on vellum. And we uh, splattered the, well, it, we were, I don't know how we were supposed to do the back because I didn't pay attention because I didn't have that stamp set. But I keep this one um, right here at my desk because it just, I don't know, it just keeps coming in handy. And it's just a bunch of dots. See all the dots? If you can see that. There you go. So that's what's in the back of the thing here. And then nothing there. And I put three little ice creams there. Okay, this one is super cute. And um, this is glimmer paper. Um, it does not come off on your hand. And it's very glittery looking. Um, again, this is uh, from the ice cream set, I believe. Uh, I can't pick it up to look. Yes, yes. This is the um, designer series paper. And put three little ice creams there. So these are just nice little cards to have on hand. This was fun. Um, Y'all know I don't like geometrics, right? Um, yes, the background stamps are fun. There's something about dots in the background to finish off a card, right? And especially like, if you just do a few and you stamp off first and they're just kind of, um, you know, a, a quiet background. I like that too. So I thought this was cute, even though I don't like um, geometrics. To me, the heart breaks it up enough. And we're actually doing a card with a bunch of squares on it tonight. Um, so there's that. 
than this one. And I still want to put something here. Um, we used a little stapler to staple our um, our little flag on, and it's just a it's just a cute little something. I mean, you could put you could put a note here. You could put a uh, uh, Cold Stone Creamery uh, gift card here. You know, you know. Or in our case, there's a place called Wits, and it's a custard shop. And oh, it's fabulous. I've only had one little taste because you know ice cream. This was fun to make. I completely went off the rails, but I also used this, uh, the stamp. Um, but this is how it turned out and I like it. I like it. It's kind of a neat card. Put a little stamps there. And then this one, you know, this was super simple y'all. And it's a simple greeting with stamps, making us almost a circle around it. And half of this uh, cardstock is em embossed. Let's see. Oh, come on now. Come on. Well, it looks like wood. Um, half of it is embossed and the upper half was not. And we just put a ribbon around it. I mean, it's that simple, that simple. And then a few stamps there. And this one, this is kind of cool because we have some adhesive sheets now that you can put fine, uh, the real fine dies. You can put them on uh, cardstock and put the cardstock on the adhesive sheet. Well, they had, there's this paper that you peel off the back. And can you see that? I used it behind the flower because I'm like, hey, the paper's shaped like a flower too, right? So if you, if you were to receive this card, you might actually see that's what it, that's what it does. And there's vellum here. And here's the, the envelope. Yes, I love a little accent um, on the envelope as well. I do, I do. Okay, y'all. So there's a couple of new things we're going to learn tonight. First of all, you know that card I showed you um, last week that I got in the swap? I failed to show you this. This comes out, out of the pot, okay? And I made one, because y'all know I love nautical stuff, I made one with this set that is current right now. It is in the um, annual catalog. It's called Sailing Home. And we have smooth sailing dies. And this is the set here. Um, this, this is how they all cut out. And I just, I love nautical stuff. And so I, I copied the design of this card and it wasn't that hard y'all I'll teach it another day but I'll tell you what I did wrong um I I used designer series paper instead of cardstock error number one error number two I glued this on the wrong end so I ended up having to just put a blue thing there and I'm gonna probably put I don't know an anchor or seashell something like that there so that it'll look intentional um, and then I probably will never give this card. So I, I don't know. But I want to show you something really cool. Um, first of all, this says, Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. And y'all know, I would rather it say, Let God be your anchor through the storms of life. And I could make it say that if I wasn't kind of in a hurry to get it finished for y'all tonight. But I want to show you something cool. So we're going to lay this here. And I'm going to put the die back on it. You can feel it kind of locks in, okay? I'm going to use the take your pick tool. And this is the one that's got the ooey gooey on the end. So this is the take your pick tool. I do have to stick its name on there, y'all, because y'all know my brain. I can't remember anything. Um, so this end screws on. Um, this is where the little sticky stuff is. And you pick up tiny things with this, okay? But we don't have anything tiny, so don't worry about it. We're going to go... We're going to put this end back on. We can go to this end. And you see the little the little thing here? It's got a lock and unlock. Um, it's a little lock and unlock. Well, you just turn it and pull it out. And you got a little spatula there and a little pointy thing here. But we don't need those right now. We're going to use this. We've got a... Um, a and, and yes, my fingers are green because I was trying something earlier today with green ink. We got a a big embossing ball thing and a, and a small. So I'm going to put this one in and it locks in. Okay. 
Now, I have put my, my stamped, and I cut it out, and I'm going to um, kind of snug it in there. You can feel it when it when it locks in. So all the little holes are lined up with the with the cardstock. I don't want my my um washi tape to go onto my cardstock. I want to keep it out of the way. So I'm going to take the little the little ball on the end here. And I'm just going to go around this, and I'm going to make a pretty good, pretty good impression. All right. So, and all I'm doing is tracing because, see, when you're cutting it out, it's kind of cutting over to here, sometimes all the way to here. But when you're embossing like this, you're just getting on the inside. Okay. And here we go. Y'all about to see it. It's so cool, y'all. It's such a cool technique. All right. I hope you can see that it, can you see that it put a line, just a fine line. There you go. I think you can see it there. It put just a fine line right around there. Y'all see that? Isn't that cool? You can do that with all of your, well, I, will, I think most of your, um, with most of your dies, I think you could do that. There you go. Now you can really see it. Okay. Isn't that cool? Now y'all know I don't come up with all this stuff by myself. I had to see it done and then I'm like, oh, that looks fun. I think I'll teach it. So we're just going to put this on here and call this card finished. Um... Some of you who've been to my studio um, have seen this thing hanging on the wall. Um, yeah, Heather, it is it, it is a cool technique, and it's it's fun to get a, another use out of your dies, right? Um, but anyway, there's this there's this wall hanging. I'll grab it, y'all. Hang on. So back in the day when we had um, convention in Salt Lake City. And I mean, I don't even know. I should have written it on the back. I don't know. We made these kind of things. Okay. I know there's a glare on it, but I can't, I can't fix that. Um, so you see like in that first corner right here, we've got a big square, a smaller square, smaller square, and then like a stamp, right? And you see how the black is around the edges. And then the next one is a square. It's got a flag. And again, it's kind of shadowed around the edges. And then he, we just have two squares here. We have one, two, three there. All we did here was emboss and put a butterfly on it with a pearl. This is stamped, then a circle, then a tiny circle. And of course, all of these stamps, um, all of these stamps are retired. But guess who still has them? Because this is one of my favorite sets. This is one of my favorite projects I have ever, ever done. I mean, I left that convention thinking, I can't wait to get home and make more. Did I make more? No. But we're going to make one similar. Just We're going to use some of this technique tonight. I, I was trying to make a whole one for y'all tonight, but no. It, it just takes too long. But you'll get the idea. And um, then this is two squares with a little ribbon. And then the postage stamp here is the same punch as this one and this one. This is just two squares with a stamp. And this is um, designer series paper with a square underneath. And then the detail there. And then we stamped here and here. And boom. Okay. So we were able to make this probably in, I'd say probably an hour. Okay. So y'all got to see what this does. And I'm going to put this guy back like I like to keep him and put his little cover on, put him back. Okay. So tonight I want to show y'all how that is done. Okay. First of all, I want to show you, I was working with some green paint, uh, ink, and what I did, I used one of these guys, and I dipped it in the old olive, or pro yeah, probably old olive, and I scrubbed it onto vellum. You know how I've done in the past when I've, like for um, for fall when I just scrub a bunch of color fall colors on our um cardstock, 
and you got like red and orange and some green and maybe some gold and then you punch your leaves out and stuff well that's kind of how how I did with this I did um I uh, did a lot of layers of old olive and then some light and you see the difference maybe maybe I need a white something up under please hold there we go that shows it a little better right okay so this is vellum and it would be very pretty to use but we're not going to use all of that yes another trick to use with vellum I know right but um yeah we're not going to use all of them we were going to but then I was like y'all I cannot teach that in a matter of one little one little class here so what I did I used and these are all current products the brick and mortar embossing folder and these thick embossing folders um y'all I still use a big shot for my big um die cutting machine and this purple plate is what I use as the sandwich okay like typically we have this the multi-purpose platform and again this is the big shot now Stampin' Up! now sells a different product called the Stampin' Cut Emboss Machine embossing machine something like that and y'all see my baby one this is my baby boss here um okay so this being the big shot because I'm not gonna buy a new one when my old one works just fine right okay typically I would put the platform here then this then my die and then or my whatever and then the top right so you make a sandwich well with the thicker folders like this I use this the folder with the cardstock inside and the purple guy on top and that's all I need now ask me if I remember this every time no uh, no running of ink on vellum. No, because when you do your vellum, you're going to use something. You can use this, or you can use a sponge, or because you're not going, you're not going to just put ink directly from the pad. You can use a sponge or a dauber. Okay, so this is what I'm using now, and we, you know, things evolve. And we started with daubers and sponges, but this, y'all, it, oh, I love it. Um, we now carry brushes like this, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's my chosen way now to get the ink onto, onto our projects. So, okay, that's how you would use these thicker, these thicker embossing folders. And you'll know, you'll know, because they're thicker, okay? So there we go. Um, but this makes it look like a, a ra you know, the raised brick. And so I love this. I love this. And you can also, I'm just going to do it. I am just going to do it. You can take yourself a little bit of this gray. This is basic gray. And you just, y'all, I'm just going across with my brush. And let me tell you now, these brushes will put some heavy duty ink on. So sometimes you want to just kind of you know, start over here and work your way in so you don't get too dark, okay? But, um, but yeah, so the, the thicker part of the embossing is coming out like that. So you see a lot more detail in the brick when you come through with the embossing. And, you know, that's how brick would look. It kind of, well, let me leave this open, don't I? It kind of looks like shadows, okay? So this is going to go here eventually, but not, not just yet. Right now, I want to show y'all how I got this effect. Um, y'all know how much I love this set here, Forever Fern. I keep using it, and that's because I love it. There's so many things. I mean, y'all, this is, this is one of the things I did with it. Can you believe that this right here is the same as these? I mean, really? This is the same stinking stamp set, y'all. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? I just love the versatility of this stamp set and how it 
completely changes when you use different colors. So I want to show you how I got that, that soft, um, distressed kind of edge on it. So I took my little square and I used the layering squares right here. I think this one is like two inches. Yeah, this is almost two inches. Probably is two inches once well. <laughs> I could have done this. Um, almost one and three quarters, okay, once it cuts out. Um, so that's what I used for that. And see, I started over here, but I messed up because I didn't ink my whole thing. Okay, so I'm just going to like start on my paper over here and just bring it in a little bit like this. And by the way, y'all, I just want, I just want to tell y'all this. This happened. Okay. I had this, it felt like a sinus kind of a thing going on. And it was on Sunday. And yesterday I was pretty sure, pretty sure it was, this is what would take me out. Right. But it didn't. So I woke up this morning and I ended up like on a scale of one to 10, I was at a 12. If COVID wasn't around, I would have probably gone to the ER. My head hurts so bad. And I thought, well, it would be really rude for me to like, you know, die right now. But, um, but I was pretty sure I was going to die. I thought this, this is how it ends right here. And who's going to do my live? How rude, right? Okay. But I didn't die and I did get to feeling better. And I just got a little bit of a headache, just a little bit now. I don't know what it was, y'all. I don't have seasonal allergies or anything like that. I got enough stuff going on without all that. Okay, see how that did right there? But I'm feeling tons better. Um, I, I, I didn't die so that I could be here for y'all. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I, I did all of my little squares like this, just like I showed you in that picture over there. And then I stamped them. I mean, it's that simple, right? Here we go. We got some darker stamps and some lighter stamps, okay? And then the little dot, dot, dots. Now, this guy came with his own dot, dot, dots, okay? He's got his own, which I love. Okay, so now we're going to put it together, together, together. And, you know, I did it on very vanilla because, like I said, I was trying. I hear it in your nose. Hope you feel better, right? Thank you. Um, I'm feeling really good now because, um, y'all, I'm serious. I was at a 12. I'm glad I'm still kicking too, Teresa, because how rude, right? It could be the weather change because, y'all, it was like spring here. And then all of a sudden, it's raining and it's kind of yucky. But I guess that's my new thing. I guess that's me now that I'm going to be like that. You know, weather, I don't know. Anyway, this is what I had started with and I was going to do for y'all. I was going to uh, stamp here and stamp here and then put all my little doodly-doos there. And let me tell you, if y'all want to make something like that, I used a 12 by 12 sheet. I'm, not, I'm talking about the other one that I showed you a few minutes ago. I used 12 by 12 sheet and I measured this way and that way to see where the center was. And now you see the little penciled X or cross? Okay, that... That's because I measured here and I went exactly how far, top to bottom, side to side. So this is perfectly centered. And y'all know I don't do math. Y'all know, right? But I can do this. Okay. And then what you would do, you would start with your, we're going to have three, six, nine. So you would start the center you know, you let me put it flat because here it is trying to make me, trying to make me a silly, not telling the truth over here. All right, so I'm just going to use the black. You would find your center and put one, two, and of course you'd measure because I'm telling you, once you hang it on your wall, if you've got too much space here or there, it's going to look really weird. All right, and then you would go out on either side, okay, with all of your squares. Let me see if that one's done. 
So you see what I'm saying? And you would you would measure, you'd measure, make sure everybody's in order. But in other words, you're not gonna start here and build that way. You're gonna you're gonna make a a middle and go that way. Okay? If you wanted to do something that big. Which I wanted to, y'all, but we just don't have time. There's not enough time to do that sort of thing. All right, so we're gonna put Y'all know I love my um, snail adhesive, and I'm still using it. Oh, hey, Laura. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, math, right? You, you. So I love my snail, and one day I'm going to run out, and y'all going to hear about it. Y'all going to hear me go, I can't believe I'm out of snail. So I'm going to center this, kind of eyeballing it, kind of, kind of. I'm going to push this down with my bone folder. Okay. And okay. So let's see. We're only going to put four on here. So I don't have to be too crazy about measuring, but you know, we're just going like this. Okay. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. I mean, you know, if you want to measure, you can. And this is one good thing. Let me show you this. This is what's pretty cool too about this, um, this grid paper. I'll show you how we use the grid paper. Let me get a, a ruler y'all can see. Okay, this is one way to use your grid paper. And yes, we have grid paper in our catalog. See what I did there? Huh? Oh, how big is the center square on the 12 by 12? Good question. Okay, this is, and I knew earlier, but no, I don't. This is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. Yup, six and a quarter by six and a quarter. All right, and oh, silly me, I put my little ruler over there. Okay, so I'm gonna line my card up on the grid paper. Boop, there we go. I usually keep everything plugged in, but y'all know, it, I'm gonna blame it on the headache. Okay, so I'm gonna put it over here so you can say, see, see the line right there on my on my grid paper. And I'll tell you something funny. You know what they call Easter eggs in movies and stuff where you see something and you're like, oh, I didn't know that was there. Like somebody's Coke bottle or something sitting there in a Renaissance age movie or something. I don't know. Well, with stampers, you can watch us. We'll have a piece of cardstock and we'll turn it over to put our glue on, even though both sides are just alike. Okay, so I'm just going to stick him down. Okay, so see this line here? Well, you probably can't, but anyway, when I put my ruler on it, it's it's good across. So I know that's even and all that junk, right? So the rest I can eyeball. And there I go, flipping my paper across. Oh, dear. Stop everything. Apparently, we need to be further this way. Y'all, I blame it on the headache. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're going to do it like this because, y'all, I don't math. I don't math well at all. Okay, there we go. It'll still look good. It will. But if you wanted, you could, you know, make all of that even. I don't, I don't, it um, doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter. Here we go. But we're just using the same technique as we did in that gorgeous wall hanging. That's probably one of my favorite top 10 pieces I've ever made. Ever. And if you came in late, yes, my fingers are green because I've been playing with ink all day. Well, not all day. I had to lay there and think about my headache for a while. And then I started playing with ink. Okay, so now I'm going to decide where I want these pieces. All right, one, two, three. I like them like this. So the the shade, the grayish one, you know, and the gray, and then the black and the black. I kind of like that, right? Oh, see, this is why my fingers are green. Because I started with green, but y'all, it got crazy. Like, the green was in charge of everybody. And I was like, mm -mm, no. Y'all, I could not do all the green. And this is two different greens. Okay, I gotta get that bit of bit of uh, glue tape up, adhesive tape. All right, so we're going to put this one here. And then this, y'all, oh poo. 
Okay. Oh, and don't forget Thursdays at 1 o'clock, Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. Thank you, Nyoka. I'm enjoying this so much. I just love, love, love this design. And y'all know I don't like geometrics, but to me, it's not that geometric. It's just four squares, and that's okay. So Thursday, 1 o'clock, Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. Don't miss it. We're going to make something so cute on Thursday. And like last week, we were in and out in probably less than 30 minutes. But now this week, it might take a little longer. Okay, so now we're going to take our little speckledy piece. And he's on a circle. And I used the, um, oh, I, I actually used my 1 and 3 eighths inch punch. And I know we don't have those now, but that's why you need to get what you want when it's there, y'all. Okay, there we go. Oh, and by the way, Wednesday, this Wednesday, we, oh, look, it kind of looks like a flower, doesn't it? Huh? Um, this Wednesday, we have free shipping. That's tomorrow. Yeah, St. Patty's Day. We have free shipping on orders $50 or over. Um, but if you're one of my customers, you can, um, you can order $50 before shipping and before tax, and um, let's see if I go out. Oh, I do it every time. <laughs> every y'all can count on me to do that, right? To zoom in like that. And yes, this is this is ink. It's not a shadow. It's ink. Um, this is a wonderful masculine card, Nyoka. It is. And you know what? Thank you for saying that because that really had not occurred to me. And y'all, I love making a masculine card. I'm gonna show y'all another trick. Now, this, again, is something I learned from watching other people. Um, this stamp, let's see what I can use. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we'll use this guy. Okay, so I want to stamp just the hello, right? And let me put it down here a little bit. I'm going to put this other stamp on here, okay? But... I don't want to stamp the second stamp. So there's a couple of ways to do this. You could just lift this off, ink up your stamp. That's the easiest way. Stick this guy back on, okay? And then you're not going to be able to rock this stamp and, and make your word... Uh, you're not going to get, you're not going to get those edges, you know, like, like, but you know, when you get that little line under your, by your stamp. Okay. Well, if you just take another stamp and put it on there with it, then you're not going to get that shadow. You're not going to have a problem at all. And I did learn that from somebody else online, but it's a neat trick y'all. And really, when you have a small stamp, it's really easy to mess up. I'm going to clean this real quick. And yeah, this is the, this is the uh, Stampin' Scrub, which I know we're using other things now, but that's what I have right here at my hand. Now I'm going to put this back, this little hello stamp, and put back my little dots. Now, y'all ask me anything, anything. Um, Nyoka, thank you. Yes, it's, it's a really good tip, and I was just thrilled to see it because it's like game changer. I mean, hello. Now, we'll use that little hello, and let me find a little punch, and I'm just going to apologize now because I don't even know if this is... Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if it's current. It says retired clear as a bell. I'm going to stick. Oh, well, you know what? i got to show y'all something else. I've shown you this before, but I'll show you again. When you have a piece that's too small, you just put a little sticky note on here, right? And you hold it in here like this, and you get to your little thing that you want to punch, and there you go. All right? Boop. And it says, hello. How about that? I will show it to you closer in just a sec. Now, y'all imagine 
if you use some of your gold leaf that we have now, which, y'all, I am a big fan. I was not going to be, was not going to be, but I am. Um, your um, heat and stick powder that you can get in the mini catalog right now. That's M-I-N-I, -N -I, the mini catalog. Um, the heat and stick powder. Look at this. I, I really like this card, y'all. I really do. And I love it that um, Nyoka suggested it as a masculine card because I'm going to put this in my guy card file because I think that's a nice one. And here's the thing. I started making a bunch of cards with no sentiment on it so that I could add the sentiment later. If you're a card maker, um, yes, thank you, uh, Christina. Yes, it's a really cool tip for punching. It makes it so much easier. If you're a card maker and, you know, you've got a file of cards or whatever, and if you just, you know, this could be congratulations. It could be happy anniversary. Well, maybe not because it's a little somber. It could be a sympathy card. It could be um, thinking of you, you know, a lot of things. You can make this, again, in bright, bold colors. Happy birthday, Angela. How pretty is that? So classy. Thank you. Thank you. And I actually designed this card um, because I really wanted to do that, um, that bigger project for y'all. And my card tonight is a take, of, a take off of this. And I love this so much. I love looking at it in my studio. And I loved making it, just everything about it. And I, I remember being on the airplane flying home, which is a big deal. I don't, I don't get on airplanes, y'all, unless Stampin' Up's involved. Um, I was on the airplane flying home thinking, how did I pack it? Will it be okay? And, um, and, and it was anyway. So that is I'm putting him right here. So I have to get back up. That is, um, that project. And that's, that's where I came up with this idea. The inspired by, okay. So don't forget Wednesday is free shipping. And one thing I love about the way they've done these catalogs is I can just look for the picture here. Blending brushes, page 70. They're $12 right here. And you get three. Okay. And then the gilded leafing, which if, I mean, y'all, imagine, that I might just make it. Um, thank you, Jan. Man, I loved making it. I might just make one of these with the gilded leafing just to show y'all. Oh, and another tip. You put your heat and stick powder on. You heat it up with your um with your heat tool. Then you put your um gilded leafing on, and you come back with a sponge and scrub on it. And y'all, it cleans up beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Because this stuff is a hot mess, okay? And y'all know I talked about it before. I wasn't gonna get it. wasn't gonna get it. Um, but it it's a hot mess when you go to clean it up. But y'all, the sponge method works beautifully and you can use a whole bunch of different adhesives pretty much if it's an adhesive you can use your um your gilded leafing on it um the gilded leaf leafing here is nine dollars it's on page 33 y'all make your wish list and when you get ready to order um text me call me send me a message whatever but tomorrow orders fifty dollars and over before shipping and before tax is, um, is free shipping. Okay. All right. So I will probably stamp these and use the heat and, uh, stick powder and then do them with gilded leaf. And, and I'll, I'll try and create something like that for y'all to see next week. What do you stamp them with? Um, what do I stamp them with? Um, are you talking about the heat and stick powder thing. You stamp them with Versamark. You stamp with Versamark, you put the heat and stick powder on them, and you heat that up, and you don't heat too long. Um, but yes, you, you stamp it with Versamark. You put the heat and stick powder over the Versamark. You heat it up. Don't be too long, because your heat and stick powder has an attitude, y'all. It's got an attitude. It's going to be like, hey, I'm too hot for this, and it'll quit sticking. It will. I don't even know who, who told it to act like that. But that's how it acts. And then you put your, um, here it is. Why couldn't I find ice cream corner? 
that's the um the set that that they wanted us to use but i didn't have that set to make these cards right here i didn't have the set y'all and then the the pretty perennials or whatever there we go i just had the retired set the heating powder pow the heating stick powder sticks to the verse mark yup it does it does and the heat and stick powder is bum 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 page 33 in here i'll show you that right quick and y'all um on the 24th i think it is i'm pretty sure it is on the 24th this is the heat and stick powder yeah you use it to adhere the gilded leafing um on the 24th we as demonstrators are going to get to see the new catalog i can't even believe it because usually we're well into late april early may before we get to see it here it is march so i'm like counting the minutes i'm like a little kid when it comes to that um yep so this is your heat and stick powder and they brought it back mine that i have is actually um, you want me to do a tutorial? I will do you a tutorial. Yes, it's like an embossing powder, like what Jan said. Um, but I will do a tutorial. I'll show you next week. How about that? I'll write it down. Y'all come Thursday at one o'clock to Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. I'll be on the other side of my studio, and we got we got all kinds of fun things happening. All kinds of fun things. I've got a calendar of my projects, and Thursday is going to be a lot of fun, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love you guys. Thank you. And don't forget, don't forget, y'all, if y'all want a good study on the Holy Spirit, this is it right here. This, this, is, this is it right here. Chuck Smith, Living Water, the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. If you want to um, screen shoot it, here you go. And you can order it on Amazon. All right? Love you guys. Thank you. And God bless.